Hey. Okay, so we're back up here in town. So now we leave, and we're gonna go back upstairs. We're gonna tell Mr. Headliner Professor what the fuck's going on. All right, Dick. What's wrong? You seem upset. Were you able to defeat those monsters? Yes, there's something I want to ask you. Is it just my imagination? I saw some strange things in the basement. Ah, uh, stop being around the bush, you fucking dick. So taking information from me is the sixth most dangerous thing in this world. The first most dangerous is fucking me in the ass after I've ate a big old bream burrito. Fuck, I was gonna do the last part. Um, anyways, so basically, here's the summary. Uh, fucking went to Birth Valley. This crazy magician dude came out named Zio. He's like, yo, if you fucking try and figure out what the fuck's going on here, I'm gonna turn you all into stone. And uh, they're like, fuck. So then they decide they're gonna go investigate this. And Alice is like, if you wanna go with us, it's your night of money. <laughs> you have to fuck me every night. And so, uh, yes, yeah, so, so that's basically what storyline is right now. Um, so now that you're done here, you can leave because this guy's a cock nobbler. Later, anti anti epitome. And so, yeah, so fuck these people. Um, so now you want to go into the bed here a little bit and rest because you need to rest because you blew all your abilities and you got monies So it's all right. It's only 15 bucks to say at the end man. It's fucking nothing. You're rich. You're like fucking thousand dollars. You're a thousand dollar error um, So now you did that uh, Gonna go uh, I thought there was a place to buy shit. I guess not. I guess you could do that in the next town. I guess Maybe I thought there was a place to buy weapons and shit. I guess not. Um Favorite RPGs are Earthbound, Star Ocean 2, uh, Fantasy Star 4, Tales of Fantasia, and Secret of Mana. Okay, so, uh, we want to save the game, which is done by pressing the start button, and then you actually save doing that. You can choose the message speed, so we're gonna pick, uh, we're not gonna pick slow, we're gonna pick fucking fast, because we're fast motherfuckers. And then uh, battle speed, you can actually pick to be super duper fast too if you want. So you can have people just go like ape shit. Um, so we'll do that. And then buttons you can actually reconfigure. But we're not going to do that right now, we're going to save the game. And there we go. Good job. So we're going to go a little bit farther in this. It's about uh, 142 right now. I figure I'll play League around 2am. And uh, I actually got people I'm going to be playing with already. So I would play with viewers, but I don't want to do viewer games on stream. I want to wait till I'm off stream, like I've said before, so I can do them in high quality and you can actually read the text. Um, so then I can actually upload them, because the league games I plan here, I'm not going to be uploading to you. I mean, they'll be on YouTube in the stream form, but they won't be like in separate videos. So we're just going to attack these three cock nobblers. These guys are weak as fuck. It's like, whatever, get off my fucking property. And so yeah, you attacked a bunch of flying bugs. Um, now, see here's the cool thing where the mumble thing comes into effect. You can, or talk, you can do talk. Birth Valley is located northeast of it, so you know what way you need to go. And I thought that was a really good feature that should be in pretty much all RPGs because it lets you know exactly where to go. 
if you're fucking up or you've forgotten. This is a short town on the way called Mile, which is a really odd name for a town. But basically, uh, that dragon sandworm there in the back, that's jumping up right there. You fight that motherfucker later on. He basically whoops your ass. Um, I couldn't even say what my favorite game series or single game is. I have played over 3,500 games. That's way too many games for me to, to pick a favorite out on. I probably couldn't even whittle it down to my top 10. Welcome to Weapon Source. Now you can buy shit. Now here's the bad thing about this game. It tells you if something is equipable by somebody, but it doesn't tell you if it's actually better than what you have now. So I really wish that wasn't the case, but whatever, I guess. The Steel Sword is for Chaz. Um, pretty much everything else I don't think you want. Let me make sure, though. Uh, equip, Alice, Slasher. Yeah, we'll increase her shit. So that's good. Um, and then Chaz, Steel Sword, yeah. So he has... Uh, let's see. Yeah, so that's, that's overall all better. Okay, that's cool. Um, Han, I believe, only has a dagger. Yeah, but he has a leather shield. So if we increase that, that'll do that. He has a leather shield to be a little bit uh, tankier, but um, we don't really need that. So fuck that leather shield. It's pussy-ass shit. You gotta be a real man, double-wielding. Um, most hated games would also be a gigantic list. Uh, leather crown, I believe. Let me make sure what who has what. The bad thing about this game, too, is there's a few towns where you'll buy all this shit, and then you go over one town, like, five seconds later, and it's, like, ten times better equipment, and you're like, Ugh. Cloth crown. Helmet cloth. Band cloth. Okay, he could probably use a fucking helmet. Or whatever. So he can only use the band. A forehead patch? What a pussy! No, I don't want to sell the motherfucking mono man, I want to sell the boomerang. And sell the dagger. And sell the leather shield. Isn't this the funnest part of RPG? Uh, what game has the best story in my opinion? Portal series is pretty close up there. I fucking love the storyline in that, especially Portal 2.